Let me explain the software updates for M1, A9, Firmware, and M1 Studio. First, we found the M1 Studio icon on the computer table. Then, double-click it to open. Under this drop-down menu, there is two ways you can close to connect. One is the theory port, and the other is the network port. We have both connected here. Here, we select the network port. Then, click here to connect. After the connection, let's take a look at the version information of M1 Studio. Click about M1 Studio in the Help drop-down menu. Here is the version information about M1. This is the version number of A9 system. This is the version number of the M1 Studio system. Because the version number of this M1 Studio is now lower than the version number of our website. You need to re-download the installation from our site. We are going to download it now. Open browser. Search our company name. Shenzhen Yuejiang Science and Technology Call LTD website. Click on it. After you enter our company website, at the button, click Download. Find the DoBot M1. Click here. PC control software. If your version number is lower than the website version 1, then you should click download. If the A9 firmware version number of yours is also lower than the website, you should click download too. Here, you can see the download has started. As I have downloaded it beforehand, I just turn it off now. We update the M1 Studio software now. Before it, we should delete the old version of M1 Studio first. Right click, choose properties. Click, open the location of the file. Click on this one. It will prompt you whether to delete the M1 Studio related component. Click on yes. Now, it is the process of unloading. Then, it will prompt you that the deletion is successful. Click on OK. Find the latest version of M1 Studio that we download from the website. This one. Right click and unzip the file. You can also unzip to the current folder. 
then find it. Double click to open. Click this and click OK. Click next step. This allows you to choose which disk you want to schedule to. This is customizable. Then click next. Click create desktop icon. Select and click next. Then click install. It is now M1 Studio installing. This process will take about 30 seconds. Then click on this. Click Next. Then select the acceptance agreement. It cannot be installed if the acceptance agreement is not checked. Click Finish. If you click here to check, click Finish, and the M1 Studio will start to run. I want studio is running now. Then click on M1 network port. Select the IP address corresponding to M1. Then click here to connect. Click about M1 studio in the help drop down. In this way, we can see that the current M1 studio version number is up to date, which is the same as the one of our website with the number. Then, let me talk to you about the A9 system update process. If the A9 firmware is updated, make sure that the network port is connected. Serial port connection cannot be updated. First, click offline management under tools. Then click A9 program update. Click select file. Select the last A9 firmware that we have just downloaded from the website. This is the latest version, 5.8, in current website. Select it and click Open. Then it will have a prompt, Upload Success here. Click Open Update here. It will prompt that the update is complete. If your previous version is lower than version 5.8, Update it again, then wait for update completed. After A9 firmware has been updated, we will update the mainboard firmware next. Select it. First, update DoBot firmware and click here. Note. Make sure it was discounted at the time of update. There is a progress bar here. 
during the update, the indicator behind M1 is bright yellow. The next firmware update is only possible when the yellow light turns green. The system prompts that the installation is complete. Now, let we check whether the M1 indicator changes to green. The indicator has changed to green. Then we can start to update the next object. Now, we update our drivers. Click here to update. It is now updating the firmware for the four axes. This time will be a little longer. We will just wait a moment. OK, now the system promotes that the update is complete. Check whether the M1 indicator burns green. The green light is now blinking. It described that the firmware has been updated. Then we start to update the end I.O. firmware. Here promise that the update has been finished. Then let's check whether the M1 indicator light flashes green. We can see it is already flashing. Remember, there is a focus here. It's the last time we update the 3D print firmware. Click on one touch update if you want to update. When the system prompts that the update is complete, check the indicator light again. Make sure the green light has started to flash. Keep in mind that if you want to update the 3D print firmware, be sure to update it last, because it will turn to 3D print mode after the update is complete. Now, let's we take a look at what pattern it is now. It is now in 3D print mode. Because we just update the 3D firmware, we switch back to DoBot mode. Okay, it is now DoBot mode. M1 needs to be restarted. Remember, to disconnect it M1 before restarting. Now, this has been cut off. Then, let's restart M1.
Select the network port here. Click Connect. Operations complete. Thank you.